It all started with a legend. Two friends, Carl and PM, will traverse the packs of Yu-Gi-Oh's past, opening 24 booster packs of each core set from the first to the latest, building a deck with their pulls and improving upon them and their strategies as they progress forward through the set list. The winner gets the chance at great prizes with our winner's wheel, but the loser gets a chance to make a comeback, getting a ban and their own wheel to spin. Come aboard and set sail with us upon the D-Ships. Well, at least we lost to a, a real deck last time. I'm, I'm still a little frustrated. I was kind of hoping that, you know, I, I rolled the dice. I was hoping PM wouldn't go with the dragon strategy, but he, of course, pulled the dragon cards because they were prevalent. And he simply drew better. There, there's nothing else to say other than I did not draw the out. And uh, that was that's just it, bud. That's just how it goes. So I guess we're just going to spin the wheel again. Back to the, the, the loser wheel. And just... Uh, See what we get. Get a couple good spins in there. Give me something good, please. I'm not gonna look. I'm not even gonna pray for anything. Just give me something fucking decent at least. Okay. I can't complain too much. I got ultra last time and I got fucking torrential, but you know. Alrighty, back to it. Let's uh, let's keep this winning streak going. Obviously, we want Starlight. Oh, but that is interesting. So, looking at what we have in terms of promos, I wish the promo wheel came like a wheel later. Because uh, if he had waited one more week, I would have had access to Dark Paladin. But unfortunately, that is not the case. So I'm, I'm currently stuck between like three cards. A Blue Eyes. Uh, another copy of Dark Magician. Because I do want to play... I want to attempt to play Dark Magician stuff later on. Because Dark Magician is probably my favorite monster and uh, just go with the safe bet and just go for the Harpy's Feather Duster. I'm taking Harpy's Feather Duster as my promo pull. Yeah, it's a safer bet. All right, see you in the polls. So it's time for us to talk about our next pack, Pharaonic Guardian. As you can see, some really good fucking cards in here. Uh, this is the start of Pac-Man, a funny little strategy that uh, focuses around specifically some of these commons down here, such as Death's Lakuda, flip it up and then draw a card. Swarm of Scarabs, flip it up and then destroy a monster on the field. Swarm of Locust, flip it up, destroy a spell trap on the field. Very good cards that are good for stalling out your opponent and just keeping them in check. Along with Trap Dust Shoot, which is a amazing card that we're probably gonna have to limit, but it's really just like, hmm. If you don't know what Trap Dust Shoot is, Activate only if your opponent has four more cards in their hand. That includes during their draw phase. Look at your opponent's hand, select one monster in it, return it to the owner's deck. Very good card. Very strong, very powerful. I think Needle Ceiling is the other good one. I don't think Needle Wall is that great. Yeah, when there are four more monsters on the field, destroy all face-up monsters. That's not bad for your opponents to whoop in your ass. This one's a die one. Yeah, that one's not great. Who cares about it? Cabazals? Cabazuls? Whatever his name is. He ends up becoming good later on with uh, the introduction of... Uh, Dino Rabbit, a funny little strategy. But we also have the Gravekeepers, one of the first archetypes in Yu-Gi-Oh. Very good cards, incredible cards. We also have cards that focus around uh, Necro Valley, which is a very strong card that I'll get to. Metamorphosis, which is an insane card. Absolutely busted. Rageki Break, which is good for back row and monster removal. And just one target on the field at all. Destroy it after you discard a card. Very, very good, very strong, very powerful. A lot of good things here. Terraforming also gets a field spell from your uh, deck to the hand. Strong, powerful, good. Dark Snake Syndrome is just funny. Just keeps dealing damage every turn, just getting it stronger and stronger. 
Some good things for zombie strategies as well. Uh, these are all kind of... The ultras kind of don't matter as much. I want to be real with you guys. The best ultras in here are Guardian Sphinx, Don Zalug, and Nightmare Wheel. The rest of these are kind of... Like... Like, this thing doesn't do much, I'm pretty sure. And this can't get out unless you have him. I'm pretty sure it's just... Let's see. Following effects are activated in order when it destroys... Um, Monster uh, the following number of monsters as a result of battle. One, as long as it remains face up on the field and eight, the activation and effects of all spell and trap cards that target this card. And two, special summon a Fushio Richie. Fushio Richie. Flip this card in a face down defense position once per turn during your main phase. As long as it remains face up on the field and eight, the activation of all spells and trap cards that target this card and destroy them. When it's flipped face up, special summon one zombie from your graveyard. They're like, it's a lot of work for two kind of okay monsters that you can just kill pretty easily. And I don't even know what the rest of these questions just silly. Tap a special zone from the graveyard at the end of the opponent's battle phase. This card is in the graveyard because it was destroyed by battle. Make your opponent discard one random card. That's not terrible. And it's a 2000 beater with a five star. That's not the worst it could be. Knight of Jackal. Destroys one monster in your opponent's side of the field since your two opponents graveyards with the battle. Return the card to the top of your opponent's deck. Eh, that's fine, actually. This card is someone to return all set cards in the fields with a hand. That's just funny. And rude. Opponent cannot check cards in the graveyard. Opponent calls the name of the first monster found at the bottom of your graveyard. If they call it right, the monster is removed from play. If they call it wrong, the monster is special summoned. That's just dumb. In Rope of Life, monster destroyed by battle sent to the graveyard. Discard your entire hand. Target one monster special summon it and it gains 800 attack. That's fine. It's situational. Supers and rares are where it's really at. Book of Life, good for zombie decks. Necro Valley, incredibly powerful card, specifically for uh, grave keepers and other such things. Uh, I don't remember what Sasuke Samurai over here does. Some of the damage of this card text face down defense, which is a monster. Destroy it. Yeah, you're fucking amazing, actually. Statue of the Wicked. I think this is a trap monster? Yeah. No, it summons tokens. That's what it is. It summons wicked tokens. Uh, Reaper on the Nightmare. It's just a funny horse confusioned with the Spirit Reaper. It's it's just it's just both of them combined pretty much. Attacks directly. Discard a card from your opponent's hand. Can't be destroyed by battle. Also, yeah, the Dark Scorpions, I think are all introduced in this or is it just Don Zalug and the first card Don Zalug and the first card gotcha a dark room of nightmares just funny mirage of nightmares wild actually so you can put standby phase draw cards until you have four cards in your hand if you do during the next standby phase after that randomly discard the same number of cards you drew if you have uh what is it emergency provisions you can use mirage of nightmares get your four and then use uh, emergency provisions to get rid of Mirage of Nightmare and give yourself more life points and you don't lose your cards I'm pretty sure it's a wild combo Ordeal of a Traveler is also pretty huge Book of Moon fantastic card flip on opponent's monster face down or any monster actually any monster in the field flip face down great for protection uh, Reckless Greed is just pot of greed in trap form but also you don't draw your next turn so you can chain them to get four cards in one turn only miss one draw phase and still have some pretty good advantage. Nudoria is a uh, very clearly a uh, zombie type monster. Uh, destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard target. One monster in the field, destroy that target. Uh, Pyramid Turtle is really good as a searcher. It searches for zombies, right? Yeah, one zombie monster with 2,000 or less defense from your deck, special summon. There's a lot of good cards that can go into that. And of course, the secrets, Ring of Destruction, Lava Golem, two of the best secrets that we could probably get, especially Ring of Destruction. Uh, unfortunately, we're not playing it up before it was eroded. So this one is uh, just only during your opponent's turn, target a monster your opponent controls, whose attack is less than or equal to their life points. Oh, they changed that part. I didn't realize that was part of the, uh, the changes they made. That's crazy. They had to change this thing so many fucking times. It's funny. But anyway, yeah, these are these are the cards we've got. There's a lot of a lot of crazy good cards in here. So we'll see uh, what we get. Twenty nine packs.
of Veronic Guardian. Correct? Uh, I'm going to make sure when I click start draft. 29. Yes. Okay. 29 packs of Pharaonic Guardian. Thank God. I, I, I got scared for a second. I did it wrong. Uh, let's see what we got. Gora Turtle. What the hell is Gora Turtle again? What are you? What are you He's up in the field. Monsters with attack equal to 1900 or more cannot declare an attack. That's funny, actually. All right. Uh, a Reaper on the Nightmare. Sick. And Metamorphosis. Ooh, that's really good. Pack three. Jowls of Dark Demise. I Oh, there's a reasoning. Grave Keepers. Grave Keepers are good. Man with the Jat. He's funny. King Tiger Wangu. That's one I actually didn't talk about. He's good because he's a 1700 four star monster. Any monster. What is it? Any level four below or any any monster with 1400 or less attack. When they're normal summoned or special summoned, uh, get destroyed automatically. It's it's a very funny card. Very funny effect. Sasuke Samurai, another fucking King Tiger Wangu. Oh, this is Yomi ship is pretty good. It's just a monster, re a monster reborn, man eater bug rather. World Keepers, all right. Yeah, these are these are fucking good so far. There's a Deslakuda. That's good. That's good. Coffin Cellar. What the hell? This time a monster sent to your opponent's graveyard for 300 damage. Okay. Yeah, sure, bud. All righty. 24 packs of Pharaonic Guardian starting right now. Right now. I have no idea what's in this set like whatsoever at all um oh right yes gravekeepers are in the set cool more is this another burn card mm, no not really uh metamorphosis is funny yep definitely definitely funny Reckless Greed, also fantastic. Needle Wall is a great trap card. Fantastic removal. Uh, this, I believe, bounces monsters to the opponent's hand. Nightmare Horse is... It's a, it's a Nightmare Horse. Pyro Clock of Destiny is... funny. Let's just call it funny. Just move the turn count by one. If you're playing fucking, what's it called? Uh, Final Countdown. Then it works great. Otherwise, there's no... Oh, Book of Moon is fantastic. We love Book of Moon. All right. All right, cool. So far, so good. Even if I pulled, like, a complete Necro Valley package... Uh, I forgot Dark Scorpions are in here also. Even if we pulled a full, like, Dark Scorpion... Uh, not Dark Scorpion. Uh, a full, oh god, what is it called? Gravekeepers package? We, I probably wouldn't be playing Gravekeepers. Um, I remember when I had physical Yu-Gi-Oh cards, I had this in my deck. You can tribute three monsters to tribute some in this card. Um, if some in this way, destroy all spells and traps your opponent controls. I mean, yeah. There's the fucking back row removal that Carl's been wanting. And time eater. What does time eater do? Uh, if this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, your opponent skips their next main phase one. Eh. Interesting. Kind of funny. Storm of Locusts. Needle Sealing. Fantastic cards. Uh, this is good in um, Dino Rabbit. Curse of the Royal, what the fuck is this? Negate the activation of a spell and trap card that includes the effect of destroying a spell and trap card. Okay. Cool. What else do we got? If, if I want to actually play my uh, my water beat down, this this would be the card to do it. They recently retrained her and uh, uh, they, caped her, uh, they caped her? They kept her stacked. Uh, Coffin Cellar, another funny little burn card. More swarms of locusts. Very good. Call in the mummy. Fantastic for zombies. Oh yeah, I could... Oh, Reasoning's a good card. Um, I could just... 
Isn't this awful? I think this is awful. I'm pretty sure this is an awful card. Yeah, because we need to tribute this dude, who is also high rarity, and you also gotta fulfill his, like, conditions to bring out a card that does... If I get the other piece... Maybe. Maybe. The biggest of maybes. What is this? Dark Designator. I'm trying to think of a good use case scenario, and the only thing that I can think of is Parasites. And that's it. Spirit Reaper, fantastic. Probably the worst of the uh, of the Gravekeepers in this set is Gravekeeper's Chief. Uh, when this card is tribute summon, target one Gravekeeper monster in the graveyard special summon. Yeah, it's only bad because it's a level fucking 5, and it's got shit stats for a level 5. That's the only reason why it's bad. Now the reasoning, now the Call of the Mummy. This is my play set of locusts. Okay. Very, uh, very zombie-centric. Guard is fantastic. Because a spy is fan- I'm sorry, I just realized what I just got. Um... Wow. The Primordial Kaiju, Lava Golem. That is fantastic. Bro. Alright, cool. Awesome, we take those. Alright, yeah. No, this is great. Lava Golem. Holy shit, that's fantastic. That's great, that's gonna help a lot. Spirit Reaper, we can play that fusion we have. Also, just a good card to have. Uh, this is, the rest of these are kind of all right. Why does Molten Behemoth exist as a monster? There's a Book of Taiyu, Swarm of Locust, Deslacuda, Gravekeeper Spy. Really good, really good, really good. Need more of those for uh, Pac-Man and Gravekeepers. Oh, I would like to get a copy of Necro Valley. Instead, I got a new Doria and another Metamorphosis, which is funny. Uh, I would love a copy of Necro Valley. So then we can run Gravekeepers and a bunch of other cards as well that work really well with Necro Valley. Uh, I guess we'll get Trap of Board Erasure. What the fuck is this? I didn't even, this didn't even register on my radar. Only activate this card when an effect that inflicts damage to your life points is activated except battle damage. It negate the effect damage you receive and your opponent selects one card from his or her hand and discards it. Oh, sure. Okay. First Book of Moon, a Trap Dust Shoot, Sasuke Samurai again, another Deslacuda. Pretty good. There's a Pyramid Turtle. I need more of those Pyramid Turtles, actually. I know the Book of Tayo is really good. I also need more uh, Book of Moons. Dark Geroid is another Swarm of Locusts. Guard Swarm Serebs again, another Reasoning Gravekeeper's Watcher. Pretty all right. Dog fucking Moisture Creature. It could have been any other rare. I think we have a place that a metamorphosis. There's a Raigeki break. Hell yeah, I need more of those. Uh, I don't know how good these other Gravekeepers are. Another Raigeki break. That's huge. I was thinking about re-rolling this pack. Probably not going to re-roll this pack anymore. Uh, I remember this card being banned for the longest time. Activate if your opponent has four more cards four or more cards in, in their hand, look at your opponent's hand, select one monster card in it, return it to the owner's deck. Okay, it's another it's another funny little stall trap card. Look, if you want me to play, like, full zombies, I'm gonna need more zombies. There's there's a start of Pac-Man. Not the start, but it's, it's another piece of Pac-Man. Am I gonna play Pac-Man? That depends if I pull, like, all the ingredients I need for Pac-Man. I still don't have Swarm of Scarabs. Still no Swarm of Scarabs. There's my fucking second camel. Okay. Pretty good pack. Well, a decent pack. Necro Valley, Pyramid Turtle. Pyramid Turtle's fantastic. Um, two more Pyramid Turtles, and I'm probably playing Zombies this week. There's my f uh, first Scarabs, finally. I think that's my place set of Call of the Mummy. Book of Taiyu. Uh, flip one face down monster the face up attack. Yeah, fine. Considering this is the dawn of Pac-Man, 
uh, potentially stopping Pac-Man with... Well, I don't know if that actually stops effects from uh, going off. Uh, New Doria is fine removal. Okay, I don't need any more Nightmore, Nightmare Horses. Uh, I don't need any more Gravekeeper's Chief either. Uh, what do you do if you control no other insect monsters as card attack and defense become 1,000? Right. There's my second Scarabs finally. There's my second turtle. Alright, one more turtle. One more turtle and I'm playing zombies. No, no more no more moisture creature. I'm I'm feeling plenty moist. Ayo Jowls of the Dark Demise. Uh take control of one monster on your opponent's side of the field until the end of this turn. Okay, if nothing else, it's like a wall. Alright, not awful. I don't hate it. Place in a, tink a king tiger. That's just funny. It is just funny. So I'm pretty sure the, the three major Pac-Man cards we have play sets of. Now, if we could get like any other good rares. If we could get another, another Book of Moon, since we have two Book of Taiyu. Another Trap Dust Shoot's huge. I just realized that's in here. That's that's wild. Or Deal of a Traveler is actually a big deal on this one. New Doria might be somewhat useful. There's a Reckless Greed. Could have been anything else. All right, we're down to the last five packs and uh they haven't been too kind to me in the last few uh that trend seems to be continuing these are starting to get really doggy doo doo we only have the one book of moon we have a place at a book of tayo which is pretty good but i would like book of moon there's so many other rares that could be had but book of moon i did not need a second dark designator i could tell you that straight up last two packs another what what is pharaoh's treasure humor me for a second what is this shuffle this face up card into your deck if you draw this face up card it was added to the deck by this effect send it to the graveyard target one card in your graveyard accept this card to target to add the target to your hand this is dog water stop fucking giving me this it could have been my fucking second book of moon Last pack, what do we got? Oh, cool, another Pharaoh's treasure. Sick, awesome, thanks, that's what I needed. We, at least we got another needle ceiling. Uh, I mean, we're taking what we get. Just uh, just how it is. Very unfortunate we didn't get a Necro Valley because I, I did actually really want to run Grave Keepers in, in full power with other cards. The one fucking book of moon really pisses me off more than anything else in the world it actually genuinely infuriates me that was the one card i was like at least two copies of and instead i got three book of fucking taiyu i can't even do a zombie strategy that's good enough because i think i only got one pyramid turtle you know one pyramid Tur i'm only getting like one of every searcher the only searcher i have more than one copy of is fucking giant rat and witch of the black forest and ufo turtle but everything else I only have one copy of. This is actually fucking annoying. But sure, I'll get things like fucking two or three Dark Designator. I'll take seven copies of Pharaoh's Treasure. Sure, it's whatever. We got what we got, and that's what we got. So we'll fucking figure something out, I guess. At least we got a Lava Golem. Come on, man. Give me one more turtle. I just want my place set of turtle. Not gonna... No, you're gonna give me a fucking place at a chief. That's so fucking disgusting, dude. Like the lava golems appreciate it, but three gravekeepers chief? Nah, chief. No, nah, I don't want it. Considering this is my first uh, gravekeepers uh, watcher, I don't have a complete like gravekeepers package. Mm. What does this card do? No. No, we don't like it. The super rares aren't that good. Like, Book of Life is like Monster Born for Zombies, I believe. Yep. Uh, Suzuki Samurai fucks face down monsters. Which I pray to God Carl didn't get one of these. Statue of the Wicked. 
Uh, Carl has no back row removal, so I doubt that's going to be useful at all. No. Uh, Dark Room of Nightmare is a funny burn card. Okay, I'm going to be real with you, Chief. Other than my Lava Golem, I kind of got fucked in this pack. In terms of like, like my only ultra rare was this fucking thing, which I can't even play because I don't have this fucking thing. And then my supers are three chief and one necro valley. Okay, I've decided. Against my better judgment, I am gonna keep my packs. This is probably a mistake. But... I think I can make with what I drew work. Let's go ahead and save that. And, um... I'll see you in the deck profile. All right, here's the list. Um, it's just Pac-Man, pretty much, but it's, uh, as the name says, Pac at home. So this is fairly crude, uh, a disgusting 42 cards, but we have some stuff to get into. We have the King Tigers. I could probably cut this down by one, maybe. That's gonna help if PM tries to summon something like Exile Force to try and pop any sort of monsters on our side of the field, just, you know, or to summon something low enough to try and uh, do something, we can just destroy it right away. Uh, the giant rats for floating, same thing with Mystic Tomato, which is the Black Forest. The giant rat can go into our Dust Lakuda, it can go into Exile Force, it can go into that's about it actually. <laughs> that is all it can go into, but that's still good shit to have actually. Especially if we just need a body on the field, if we need to summon Dark Ruler Hades, who is really good and staying in this deck because he's strong and his effect is amazing. Uh, of course, the Mystic Tomato can go into the Witch of the Black Forest or it can go into one of our many other monsters. We can get out the Spirit Reaper with that. We can get out the Mask of Darkness if we are desperate enough to do that for Mask of Darkness. Uh, we can get the Swarm of Locusts, the Swarm of Scarabs. Same thing with the Witch. Witch can float into just about fucking anything in this deck. Except for Dark Ruler Hades. But she can float into just about every other thing that we have in this deck, depending on what we need at that moment. Which is very good. Of course, Spirit Reapers, one of our best cards that we have, cannot be destroyed by battle. And it is a white magical hat upon attack. A Yomi ship is underrated. It is slept on. It is Man Eater Bug at home. And when it's destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, the monster that destroys it also gets destroyed, which is really good. Unless, of course, the monster that destroys it is Lesser Fiend or Dark Ruler Hades. We're just going to have to pray. Uh, we have the Vengeful Bog Spirit, which kind of fucks us up with our strategy. We can't really flip up and attack off of it, which is why I got rid of the third one and replaced it with Messenger of Peace. It makes it a little better for us, although that means that Pim can get out Wish of the Black Forest and we can't do much about it other than pop it with one of our lower monsters, but that's fine to a degree. We also have the Ordeal of a Traveler to help us out with just about everything. I actually don't remember if I got a Trap Dust Shoot. Holy shit, I have two Trap Dust Shoot. Why don't I have Trap Dust Shoot in here? Fuck yeah. Hell yeah, to have the Trap Dust Shoots. Why not? It, it does nothing but help us. Kind of. <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. We will simply draw well. Anyway, we have the Magician of Faith, the Mask of Darkness, of course, to get back our spells and our traps. Yeah, it's it's just it's just pack. I don't know what to say other than it's pack. It's pack with a Hades in there and a King Tiger Wanku, which will suck for us if I forget that I can't just summon a monster. I'll have to set just about every monster if he's on the field, because otherwise they are just automatically destroyed, which is good if I have Mystic Tomato to float into Witch of the Black Forest, pop her immediately, and get a monster right off the bat from that. Pretty all right. However, 
if this strategy doesn't work out if pm's running anti pac-man or if he's also running pac-man but better um i mean we have all these down here in the side we can swap out a good amount of the pack monsters for just some beaters you know we can keep the swarm of locusts we can swap out the scarabs and the lakudas for just beef of course we also have the offerings to the doomed in the side for destroying monsters the light of intervention in case pm is running pac-man and we need to change the strategy up uh we have the raigeki breaks in here because that's fucking card removal just general good card removal that we have two of it's really good if i manage to get a spin on the wheel to get a rare i think this is i'm going for another raigeki break because raigeki break is great to have uh the torrential of course the magic drains seven tools you know, the one book of moon one book of tayo because i didn't realize it doesn't work with these cards i think it works more with the actual flip effects a shame but we can do that once a uh, dracomord for removal because so long as it stays on the field uh, it'll just come back to hand when it's destroyed it destroys a P one of pm's monsters it goes to the graveyard along with pm's monster it activates goes back to our hand it's a really good form of removal in a way the staples of course the change of heart telling can duo monster reborn pot agreed swords tribute just i feel confident about this strategy and i hope that it works i'm still thinking if i want to cut down on something but i really don't know what i would this just feels solid enough as it can be with what we have so we're gonna pray that we win this week because goddamn do i need a fucking victory but i'm sure pm's gonna be running this and running a counter pack strategy because he mentioned just saying pa carl's definitely gonna do a pack strategy i have to fuck him up however so he's gonna do something to ruin my life i'm sure no no it's not looking very very good so it turns out i probably should have just fucking re-rolled because my pulls were so shit that i didn't even realize the best card that i got out of the entire pack was fucking lava golem and that's it that was the only good card that i got out of this entire set i didn't have uh enough to play pac-man I didn't have enough to play Gravekeepers, and I didn't have enough to play, like, a, a zombie strategy. I had bits and pieces of every single one of those archetypes, but not enough to, like, just make it. So, now, now what am I doing? I'm stuck playing pretty much the exact same deck that, I'm, that I was playing last week. The only difference here is I added Lava Golem, Book of Moon, and two Metamorphos... Metamorphosis... Yeah, m uh, metamorphosis. And that's it. That's the fucking deck. Nothing has changed. You need to understand something here. So, Gravekeepers, right? I somehow managed to pull three Gravekeepers Chief, and I could pull a playset of any other uh, Gravekeeper monster aside from gravekeeper's curse the one gravekeeper that you just don't play other than chief chief at best is like a one maybe maybe two of nah dog i like one assailant one guard uh one spy uh two two spearmen one watcher uh uh, uh Maybe three uh, cannon, cannon ears? No. And one Necro Valley. And one fucking Royal Decree. No, I, c I couldn't do it. I couldn't fucking do it. And zombies, like... No, there was just none. I only had the two turtle. I had three called uh, Call of the Mummies. But, like, the zombies that I have aren't good... The best zombie that I pulled was the Ultra Rare one, Fusion, Fusion, or whatever, 
whatever the fuck that dude's name is. I can't even summon him. I can't even summon him because the other card that you need to summon him is also an ultra rare, which I did not fucking pull. A Pac-Man I didn't have all the pieces of. I had seven uh, a swarm of locusts and then like two of the other pieces. No, no, I ju I'm just stuck with the same shit. Unless I want to piecemeal like two different archetypes from this pack to make one jumbled brick. But I'm like, fuck it, if I'm going to play a brick, I'm going to go back with my dragon brick from the last episode. It worked out fine last episode, maybe it'll work out fine this one. I should have just fucking re-rolled. I didn't... I was so blinded by the lava that I didn't realize just how bad things were. It turns out things are really bad. This is somehow worse than Legend of Blue Eyes. And I didn't think that that would have been possible, but here, here I am. Fucking game over, bro. Fucking game over. I think this is the end of my streak because of how fucking poor this, uh, this pull went. I forgot about my fucking promo. Hold on. Hold on. Make sure I'm clicked onto the right fucking screen. There we go. There we go. I completely forgot about this. Uh, yeah, just throw it in there. Okay. It's still bad. It's still not good. It's still not good enough. But here I fucking am. Get rid of these fucking blasts with chain. I'm never- I'm, I'm never using those. There you go. That's the fucking deck. Wish me luck, I guess. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking care. Well, PM, here we are once again. Here we are. Veronic Guardian. Veronic... Is that what the one was that we did? Yes. Yes, that's what we're doing. Veronic Guardian. How are your pulls? Do you get good ones? I mean, I, I did open 24 packs, I guess. I feel that. I I guess this pack sucks. This pack fucking this, sucks, this dude. Is not great, <laughs> bro. I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna commentate on my pulls, but wait until you see my deck profile and see how visibly angry I am. <laughs> like my deck rundown is almost as long as my actual pulls because I'm just going off on how fucking pissed off I am. That's fucking funny. So you ready to go? I'm ready to go, baby. Okay, I I'm think this is the end ready. of the streak. We'll find out. Uh, High okay, five. Well, okay, got him. Okay, though, there you go. I will... Actually, I'll let to go first. Okay. Might have been a mistake. That's a really funny hand. We'll set one card and pass it to you. Okay. I will set to on oh, my turn. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty funny actually. I will Hmm. I'll I'll try going in. Okay. Let's see what we got. Not a whole lot, bud. All right. I mean, shit. That is funny. I can't really do anything with said funny thing. Mm hmm. Uh, so I will just. Bro, literally nothing. Okay, set one. All you. All right. I will set a card. I will. Hmm. I'll flip my swarm of locusts. Ah, I see. I will. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Uh, that one. 
Horn of Heaven. Uh, then I will, uh, I want to see what you got going on over there. Okay. Ah, I see. Now. Hell yeah. I hate this. That this rules. Sucks. <laughs> that rules, actually. That fucking sucks. I, I fucking despise you. All right, let's just uh, swing in for a little bit, you know? A little tap. Then on my main phase two, use the effect, flip it back down, and uh, you can have your moth back. Uh, that is, in fact, a monster that I cannot use currently. So, I guess I'll just fucking exiled force. Ooh, that is just, a shame. Just... No, my swarm of locusts. That's it, but I like to draw any any of the monsters that I have. Oh, PM, do you uh, do you want to see something very funny? Sure, lay it on me. All right, I'm just gonna do this because it'll be funny to do. I'll have to be change of heart. Yeah. Right. Oh, it's me, Book of Moon. Are you fucking... Oh, it's me, Book of Tai. <laughs> I'm getting very upset. I'm getting very upset. Right <laughs> oh, the swing. Genuinely getting mad right now. I actually forgot that I didn't uh, summon another monster, so I'm going to set this over here and in my face. I mean, fucking, yeah, a little late, but yeah, that's totally a card that I have. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. Okay. I'll elect to do this. Ah, oh, Lava Golem. Uh, what do I want to add to my hand here? I think... Fuck it. And, uh, all right, you have change of heart in your hand for the fucking fourth time. Um, yeah, that's it. Ah, uh, yes. Oh! Uh, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure it's just game, bud. Yeah. Well, uh, that was a, an interesting game one. Oh, the Book of Moon, of course. A very interesting game one. This is more, this is more humiliating because it's exact game. Yep, sure is. All right. Okay. Well. Hope. Hopefully I get an actual hand this time. <laughs> Let's see what happens. A proper, a proper fucking hand this time. Okay, I, I will go for it this time. All right. Oh boy, okay. And, uh, sure. Ah. <clears throat> I 
I mean, that is funny. Are right, you gonna change a heart me again, you fucking son of a bitch? Well, I mean, Zombira can't attack directly. Yes, that's true. That didn't answer my question. Um, I will simply... Shut that and pass. Um, cool. Let me... Let me... Yeah, fuck it. Let's just go for it. Ah, Lesser Fiend. That's a bit of a problem. Yeah, get him out of here! Fucking rat. That is indeed a bit of a problem. I will set a monster over here. Mm -hmm. Set a trap card. Uh, I'll activate Monster Reborn. Okay. Ah, uh, the young crash. Of course. Oh no, Michizure! Actually, upsets me. Good. Uh, yeah, alright. Over to you. Um, how about, uh, Grey Wing? The young Grey Wing. Interesting. No! Book? Hey. Hmm. You want to discard a spell card to negate it? No, I'm good. <laughs> oh, I don't take life force from that. Sick. That's all you, bud. All right, now I actually... Oh, oh no, I'm still actually in a bit of uh, danger here. Matter of fact, this actually sucks. There's a position to be in. <laughs> I will set a card. I'll end my turn. Okie dokie. I forgot I had this card in my deck. Wow, okay. What's on Bira? No, the the another card. I was hoping you'd forget. This motherfucker's actually playing Pac-Man. Yeah. The aud the audacity. I forgot to. Oh, god damn it! I should have known better. I forgot to side in the anti-Pac-Man cards. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna make a play here. Okay. I'm gonna activate Messenger of Peace. That, that is in fact a play. I will activate Change Heart. Mm. I will summon my Wish of the Black Forest. Okay. Onto the battle phase to destroy your own monster. I will end my turn. Well, he does live from that now. And, uh... Yeah, that kind of that kind of fucked me. That's a really good draw that I got. I will simply set this, as a matter of fact, for right now. And... Do I want to search for something? Is it worth losing more life points and making your zombie able to attack? No, it's not. Uh, yeah, the young clutch tomato. That is a pretty clutch tomato. I... I will attack your face down. You shouldn't do that. Okay, good. Glad I did that. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I will pay 100 for that. I will... What will I do in this situation? I think I will set a card and enter the battle phase to get a search. And just a little fast and loose.
What do I want to grab is the issue now. A lot of options. There's actually a lot of options. I think I will grab this. Okay. And then on main phase two, I will simply activate Swords of Revealing Light. Huh. Funny. Alright. I will set this. I will flip my Dust Lakuda. That's just funny. I will end phase. Way too late on that. Alright, cool. Yes, I will pay 100 for that. I will flip summon my Swarm of Scarabs. Now you can get the fuck out of here with that. <clears throat> okay. I will flip summon my Deslacuda. That's fine. I will normal summon my Giant Rat. I unfortunately must give you a search, but it's fine. I too will search. I will bring out. <laughs> My options are great. All right, cool. Another tomato it is. I will summon my XL Force. I see. Cool, Poggers. And that'll be it. Bro. Fucking come the fuck on. Hey, you can attack now. I uh, can I? No, I don't. I don't think so, bud. So my King Tiger Wong, who can't attack, but that's fair. Yeah. All set. Activate. Set. And it's uh, back to you. I probably could have attacked with the Dust Lakuda, but... Oh, holy shit. A fucking monster. Is it gone? Uh, I will activate... Ordeal of a Traveler. I see. I... I will not deal with that. Or wait. <laughs> uh, All right, I'll have to get my Geki break. God fucking damn it! Cool. All right. Hey, guess what? Didn't get any of those. I will not pay for messenger pieces. I will summon my King Tiger Wong Hu. Nice. Awesome. Unfortunately, that's going to put my ordeal at not working, but... Oh, no, now it will. Fine. I will now enter the battle phase. Go back down. Oh my god. Alright, fine. Now, this hand is just very funny. Will not use an effect. Uh, yeah, let's see what we got. Another cave dragon? Nope. Ah, oh, the jar. Young Jar is pretty good. That was a pretty good hand. Okay. Uh, hmm. Do I want to 
try doing that. Yeah. Oh. Oh, right. Playing a little fast and loose with these, but. Main phase two. I will. Set a card. And it's uh, over to you. I'll activate my trap dust shoot. Let me see that hand. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Let's see. Oh, let's get rid of that, actually. Does that just put it on the top of the deck? Uh, no. Shuffles it back in. Oh, okay. Let's see the shuffle. That's fine. Um... Gee, I'm gonna set these total mysteries here. Could be anything. Could be, in fact, anything. It's a lot of anythings. And, uh. Well, that's all you got. I will activate my Geki Break. Oh, wow. Destroy one of these. I can't believe it. Uh, hmm. Hit that one. Ah, the Book of Moon. That's funny. Uh, I'll give your monster this. Okay. A fun little gift, you know? I'll set like that. Attack, but okay. Um, oh, you know, just in case. Oh, wow, I still got the one. Hey, you know, pot will always help. I want this. That's fair. I will flip it and get rid of this one. That's pretty funny. Uh, let's see. Fuck your mouth. Oh, yeah, that's pretty unfortunate. And, uh, I cannot attack with you, right? Yeah, okay, <laughs> that's fine then. Yeah, that is unfortunate. Holy shit, I... Wow, I actually won one. Holy shit. Alright, well, uh, I'll see you in game three then. <laughs> Good Christ. I forgot that was in your hand. I am going to go first. Oh, activate Vengeful Bog Spirit. Cool. Set one, pass to you. I have no idea what you could have. So... Fuck it. Excelled Force. We'll pop it. Ooh. Good. Fantastic. Love it. That is a damn shame. This isn't, though. I'm going to pot of greed. Set one. Set two. And I'll pass to you. Let me see that hand. Those are pretty good. I, hmm. I don't want to get rid of your hand. I'll get rid of tomato. Uh, 
I will flip my swarm of locusts effect. And I will set this, flip that back down, and my turn. Interesting. Um, yeah, okay. True Nade? Okay. I will Grey Wing. Okay. Activate effect. Let's pitch. Hmm. I'll pitch your moth? First. It's a shame. Attack the second. The Mask of Darkness. Get some damage. It's all you, bud. Okay. Well, uh, let's see. I will set. A card. I'll activate the vengeful dog spirit, and I'll set another mystery card, and that'll be you. Uh, sure. Oh, you're not gonna summon the Buster Blader. Why would I? It's got. It's it's not gonna be able to attack the turn. And considering you could just. Activate your trap dust to make me get rid of it. There's no point in me doing that. So, um, yeah, fuck it. Nosler. Okay, okay. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go. Damn it. You fool. Which effect I will grab? Yeah. Oh my god. Alright. I think I'm going to be key B.O. Drachmord on your gray wing. I will summon King Tiger Wangu. I'll end my turn. I forgot I can't attack. All right, uh, defense. Summon Zombray. Mm hmm. That's pretty funny. Um, I will set this. And... Put that in defense. Let me turn. This is it's the spirit. Yep. And uh, let's get rid of that. And that's it. But I will activate the effect. Okay. 
I will activate Track Ward on your Sombrero. Bro. Bro, come on. What's the point of that? I can't even uh, I can't even hit you right now. I will simply summon Giant Rat. And I'll end my turn. Okay, um, let's get rid of that. Don't know why you'd want to do that, but... Uh, do I want to activate that again? No, I don't. I will simply Imperial Order. Oh. Let's go for it. Yeah, that is, uh, fucking unfortunate, huh? Summon another giant rat. There's two defense. That's all you. Well, that's unfortunate for me. <sighs> Pretty even game, all things considered. All things considered, yes. I'll take my machine heart. I forgot Imperial Order's in effect. Bro, are you... Are, okay, you're throwing now. Now you're throwing. I swear to... What was that, Carl? No, that was Carl? just a stupid play on my end. Hi, how's it going, everybody? Buddy, I know it's early in the morning, but come on, buddy. No, no, <laughs> that, on, was just, buddy. Uh, that was just stupid. Not gonna lie. I mean, don't get it twisted. I'm incredibly happy right now that you did that. But, bro... Don't worry, it's not my magician of faith. <laughs> Is, is is like I'm about to say? Is there like a secret plot that I'm not aware of? You'll find out. Um. Hmm. Just get rid of your sand gan. He's had it too good for too long. This is probably the longest living sand gan that's ever existed. Yeah. To be fair. Um, let's... Don't like his little binoculars looking at me. I can't even switch another one of those. So let's just grab this instead. That's fair, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm still in... I'm still in disbelief that I actually played Change of Heart under IO. I, I can't Honestly. you actually Honestly, the stupidest thing I probably could have fucking done. Oh boy, okay. Um, let's, uh, witch to battle. Let's, um, yeah, let's get rid of the rat. Unfortunately, because I don't have a lot of attack targets to go into. And the summoned an attack, which sucks. I don't want to summon out the XL Force, you can just attack over it. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Oh, I have to activate it. it yeah, it's go. mandatory. It's yeah. gotta go. It stays on the field, that's very funny. Whatever. What? The waste of slot. <sighs> I'm actually fucked. There is, there is quite simply nothing that I can do now. <laughs> okay. Uh, Grey Wing? <sighs> Activate effect? You gotta be fucking kidding me. Let's go ahead and hit the confirmed. Uh, since I can't attack you directly with this. Nice. Uh, 
Okay, beautiful damage. Love to see it. Yeah. I'm somehow winning against Pac-Man. Somehow. Hi, Maddie. Oh, uh, that I could have used that so much fucking earlier. I lost. I lost because if I had gotten that earlier, I would have fucking won, and now I can't do anything. So that's just fucking game. Go ahead. That's another fucking loss for me. Did you get, uh, did you finally draw the next Raigeki break? No, I drew my Dark Ruler Hades, who I could have fucking uh, contributed earlier to have a strong monster on the field to stop this yeah. from happening. But yeah, I lose yeah. another week. That's five in a Yay. row, and I'm not happy Yay. about it. <laughs> Io is banned. All right. Yep, there it goes. It finally came in clutch yeah. for once. It came in clutch. Holy shit. Carl, I'm, I'm genuinely furious. You don't know how much I workshopped that fucking deck. I was like, I have three of every fucking Pac-Man card. This is a, such a solid strategy. There's no way PM can beat this. And I got my ass fucking handed to me. Bro, you handed my ass to me on a silver platter that first game. I was expecting this entire week to be a wash. I was expecting it to be a wash for you also. Carl. It didn't work out that way. This is somehow worse mm -hmm. than the Legend of Blue Eyes. I... You know what changed in this deck from last week? What? I added three cards from this new pack. One Book of Moon. Uh, uh, actually, four cards. One Book of Moon. Two Metamorphoses that I couldn't... That I never played during this duel. I had in my hand, like, every game. Never fucking played them. And fucking uh, Lava Golem. That's it. Ne didn't have a complete uh, uh, Gravekeeper package. Not a complete Pac-Man. Uh, fucking uh, dark scorpion zombies, nothing. It was all piecemeal of every fucking thing. That is unfortunate. And I'm like, oh no, I'm not gonna use a reroll. I have fucking lava golem, and I probably have a complete set of something. No, nothing. I did also get nothing. a lava golem. I got. You, you know what my supers were? What? I got three gravekeepers chief, and one necro valley. My ultra was uh, that fucking giant zombie, um, uh, Fuko Rigogoki, or whatever the fuck uh, its Fushio name is. Richie. Yeah. A and I didn't get great uh, uh, these nuts, or whatever the fuck his name is, uh, uh, in order to be able to actually play him. Yeah. Completely fucked in all angles. And yet somehow you still won. Somehow. When I saw that you had the fucking King Tiger, which I didn't even know was in this set, Completely, I didn't get him, obviously, because I did not see him in in, in my pulls whatsoever. Um, I thought it was fucked because the majority of my deck is under 1,400 attack points. Yeah. And somehow I was able to get over it every single time it was out. Yeah, it's very infuriating, actually, that you just managed to get everything you needed to draw. And I kept drawing fucking Delinquent Duo and Hades at times when I didn't need them. Oh, boy. I let me tell you, uh, I was not happy to see that Nuzzler because I was like, oh, that means Spirit Reaper's just going to fucking die. Yeah. Yeah. Th thankfully, thankfully, I, I had an out uh, to Spirit Reaper or else you would have won that game eventually. You would have drawn something uh, uh, to get over my shit. Five in a row. At least three of them are legitimate. So that means it's every time again. Yeah. Now. Yeah, it's every time again. It's okay, Carl. Hopefully, with next week, uh, Magician's Force plus Tournament Pack 4. Uh, you, you, uh, are, you have Dark Magician and fucking Buster Blade. You're going to get that fusion and fucking slap my ass cheeks. Uh, that's that's a soup. Oh, so uh, this week on the, on the Winner's Wheel, I rolled a promo. So that's where I got my Harpies from. Oh, yeah. I didn't even notice that, honestly. Yeah, that's where I, I, I got completely my Harpies from. Yeah, that's sick. Because I, I accidentally went ahead, mm -hmm. and uh, and I'm we're like, oh well, since Dark Paladin is uh, uh, this promo for whatever this fucking thing is, I'll j I'm just gonna pick Dark Paladin. No, no, I may I, I double checked and went, wait, isn't it a little early? It was totally a little early. Yeah, if it was next week, yeah, I would have been able to get Dark Paladin, but uh, thankfully I caught my mistake and uh, and picked uh, Harpies. Proud of you.
I'm fucking- I'm so actually pissed off that I lost. Hey, at least this was a lot closer than any of the other weeks. Yeah. No, the one I'm angry about was still the dragon one. The dragon one. What, last week? Last week. I'm still angry about that one. Just because I, I think I'm getting anything... doo doo pulls. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like, every draw yeah. I had was just like, this doesn't help me. This doesn't help me. This doesn't help me. I've now lost. Well, it's okay. Another week in the books. IO is, is dead and gone. None of us have it. And, uh. And I think next week is your time to shine. And when don't worry, we... everyone. When I lose next week, I'll ban harpies. It won't. It won't be that bad. We'll see. It won't be that bad. Oh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. And the next episode of D Ships. Uh, take care.